Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 is still drifting a little bit lower yesterday. It was down lower uh, on yesterday's session, sorry, um, but managed to have a little bit of a surge towards the end, but it's drifting that little bit lower again. 18111 spot 9 is the next potential support level. Most other global equity markets have also drifted further yesterday. Uh, obviously, they were at kind of record highs or recent highs, uh, so a little bit of a scale back as we get closer and closer to the ECB testimony, not the te testimony, but the ECB press conference uh, tomorrow and then non farm payrolls on Friday. But we do have a raft of data today, mainly PMI data, but also ADP private payrolls in the US. So you can see there the UK 100 actually comfortably broke through potential uh, support, a trend line support break there. Um, we are now at 69.06. Um, we actually were below that yesterday, which also coincided with the 21 period SMA. Closed bang on that level uh, last night, and we're just drifting uh, that little bit on the wrong side of that level this morning. Any uh, pronounced move below uh, 69.06 or below the 21 period SMA opens up and move much lower towards 67.71 but be fair we're probably unlikely to see any huge massive negative shocks until more of the macro data actually comes out. So moving on to Japan 225 uh, and dollar yen is drifting lower again back down towards 119 so a little bit of yen buying there uh, and you can just see that that's, that's uh, caused the Japan 225 to um, come to potential support at 18648 Again, a move below that, we've actually accelerated quite far away from the moving averages, so any move below that 18648 opens up 18306 as the next potential level. There are kind of um, little long legged candles at the bottom of these last two sessions, including today's, which is indicative of the fact there is some buying interest round about this potential support level. Uh, but it's not enough to uh, to springboard up higher. But this is the level to be aware of in Japan 25. So dollar yen as ever as back at what is getting quite close to 119 again. Uh, it's not quite exactly bang on that level uh, as of yet. But that's where the moving averages are. That's where uh, if we continue to see a little bit of US dollar weakness and yen buying. Um, before we get close to the end of the week, this is probably the area where dollar yen will gravitate towards. So 119 as ever is the main pivot for dollar yen. So moving on to gold, um, uh, sorry about Texas crude, uh, we had a slight uh, jump last night as um, Saudi oil prices began to tick up and uh, more fighting in Libya um, and also the demand factor, there, is, there seems to be some interest buying uh, West Texas as, as close to $50 as we are right here. Um, obviously the recent low that it was at um, there last week would have been around about $47. So we're, we're getting to trade in a, a bit of a range between 47 and 50 so gold, um, again a very volatile session yesterday, we, were, we almost rechallenged 12.18, we were not that far away from potential support at 11.86, long legged candles the last three sessions are indicative that selling pressure is more pronounced here on gold, uh, and you do have that death cross on the moving averages which will, for you from a technical perspective will be adding weight, but then you do, you almost have a cross over the MACD, you, you would have done had it not failed to, uh, to break above 12.18. But we did have a buy signal already in the slow stochastic, but maybe that's already already happened. Um, so depending on how PMI data comes out today, and I think it's ISM U, uh, US numbers, uh, as well as the ATP private payrolls, um, that will probably have a bit of an impact on gold, depending on how positive or negative those figures <laughs> actually end up being. So moving on to your dollar, your dollar's drifting towards um, 111 each day. It's just sl slowly grinding down. Um, so not much else to talk about there. We did have the break of the uh, symmetrical triangle formation, so 111 is the next potential support to be aware of there. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, we are now hitting the 21 period SMA. We're not far away from the 55 period. A break of that trend line support uh, and this horizontal support right here as well as should be seen as uh, as not a great technical signal. Longer term potential support, one spot 51.85. Negative crossover in the MACD. We had a, a, a sell signal in the slow stochastic there, so um, certainly that coincides with a trend line break as well. So certainly there is a bit of pressure on cable at the moment. So economic data wise, I've been mentioning a whole bunch of uh, market PMI data due uh, at 9, 9.30, 8.55 across the uh, Germany, the Eurozone and the UK. Then we've got Eurozone retail sales at 10. Uh, and then ADP private payrolls and then the um, ISM manufacturing numbers. These should be quite important as a data 
at 1.15 and 3 p.m. UK time. Followed that on with their crude oil inventories after all today's Wednesdays, crude oil Wednesday. That historically has had quite a big impact on uh, crude oil West Texas. So today might be no different. And then Thursday, you've got uh, manufacturing numbers, interest rate uh, details, ECB details. You do have the ECB uh, press conference and uh, unemployment claims over in the US. So actually, a, quite a host of, uh, of data due tomorrow and then Friday you've got your non-farm payrolls so uh, it promises to be an exciting end to the week. As ever keep your eye on the channel forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.